This one is a very complicated set. Came in CAT 2006. Mathematicians assigned a number called Ardos number, named after famous mathematician Paul Ardos. Only Paul Ardos have the Ardos number zero. Only him, he has Ardos number zero. Any mathematician who has written a research paper with Ardos has an Ardos number one. Understand the logic. Ardos himself zero. Anybody co-authoring with him gets the number one. For other mathematician, the calculation of his or her Ardos number is illustrated below. This entire part. Suppose a mathematician X has co-authored paper with several other mathematicians. From among them, mathematician Y has the smallest Ardos. Let the small uh, Ardos number of Y be Y. Then X has an Ardos number of Y plus one. This part, how we can take it is, let's say I have co-authored a paper with Ardos. So for Ardos, Ardos number is zero. Then my Ardos number will be one. Then you came and you co-authored a paper with Ardos only. Then your will be you will get two. But instead of doing it with Ardos, you're doing it with me. Then you will be, sorry, here you will be one. And here you will be two. Now your friend comes. Your friend doing it with Ardos. Friends, Ardos number will be one. Friend doing it with me. Friends, Ardos number will be Friends, Ardos number will be two. And you did not did it with Ardos. You did it with me. And then your friend is doing it with you. Then friends, Ardos number will be three. That is what is given in the paragraph which we read. That's how a new mathematician gets an Ardos number. What next? So I guess you understood the distribution of Ardos number logic. So I'm removing this part. What next? Any mathematician with no co-authorship chain connected with Ardos gets an Ardos number of infinity. In a seven days mini conference organized in the memory of Paul Ardos, a close group of eight mathematician their names are given as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Discuss some research problems. At the beginning of the conference, A was the only participant who had an infinite Ardos number. Okay. Nobody has an Ardos number less than F. On the third day of the on the third day of the conference, F co-authored a paper jointly with A and C. So A and C will now get an Ardos number, which is one more than what is that of A. That reduces the average Ardos number of the group of eight mathematicians to three. So after day three, we can write after day three. The Ardos number, average Ardos number is three. So total Ardos number of the group is 24. Okay. And since all this reduction is happening because of the paper co-authored with F, that means F was definitely, definitely below average. 
so what are the possibilities of if if starting ardos number is either 1 or 2 either 1 or 2 so now therefrom i will take one assumption first i'll make a table let me write the names a b c d e f g h and i'm assuming if starting ardos number was 2 what about others what about others the ardos number if you look at this part b d e g remain unchanged with the writing of this paper obviously for the no other co-author among this three member would have reduced the average ardos number of the group of 8 as low as 3 so nobody can go beyond 3 okay at the end of the third day five member of this group has identical ardos number well other three had ardos number distinct from each other so let me try with this information five of them will have same ardos number at the end of day 3 f is f was 2 so definitely end of day 3 a become 3 c become 3 So what is their sum? They are coming as eight. So B D E G H, their sum must be sixteen. And we want five to be five of them to be identical. Now, first of all, these five can never be identical. In that case, sixteen divided by five, you will get fraction. What if? Three of them gets three. What if three of them gets three? So that means total ardos number given is three into five, fifteen. And F is having two, that is seventeen. Left over is seven, which will be distributed. Let's say this three or three 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 between these two. Between these two. now on fifth day this is a possibility i've written let's say let, let me write it here they, they they are getting 3 and this can be gh also so g and h total is coming as 7 now what else on fifth day on fifth day what we are getting e co-authored a paper with f e co-authored a paper with f which reduce the group's ardos number by 0.5 groups ardos number reducing by 5 that mean total ardos number is reducing by obviously 4 because in group there are eight members point 5 into 8 total is reducing by 4 so maybe uh, one of this three is not with e one of the three is was here so i'm removing this three so what was this value can be this person e and h they are having the total 7 so this person must be having some value okay after after he has co-authored with f what will be his new value His new value will also be three. His new value is three, and decrement is of four. So his starting value, day three, me his value was seven. Day three, me his value was seven. That's why on day five, when he is doing it with F, he is having a uh, ardos number three. So reduction is four in total, point five in average. To assign seven here on day three. i have to give zero here which is not permissible 
understand the logic. Now I'll remove this assumption. What I assumed, I assumed if starting aldose number was two, after day three, A will become three, B will and C will become three. Five of them are identical, which I'm taking B, D, and G is also three. So five identical conditions satisfied. So E plus H must be seven. Subtracting 17 from 24. Here is the calculation. Then what? Then what? That E is doing a paper with F on day five. So on day five, E will also become uh, three. And after becoming three, total <coughs> average decreased by 0.5. That means total decreased by seven, four. So before day five, E was seven. That means on day three, he was seven, which makes eight zero, which is not possible. Okay. So now I'll go with the second assumption. So we have understood F cannot be two. So F have to be one. So on day three, after doing a paper with F, A was two, C was two. And three mem other member will, and five of them, achha, what is the total? 15, 15, so how much left? 24 minus 15, uh, 5, how much left? 19 for 5 people. If you distribute equally, they are getting fraction, not possible. So 5 identicals all having 2. Let's say B is one of them, D is one of them and G is one of them. Who left? EH. How much left? How much total left for them? How much I have distributed? Ten plus one eleven. Twenty four minus eleven. How much left? Twenty four minus eleven. Thirteen left. Now on day five, E will get how much? On day five, after authoring a paper with F, E will become two, and that reduces the group by 0. 0.5. So total by four. So on day three, E must be six. Understand the logic? Total reduced by uh, average reduced by 0. 0.5. So that means total reduced by 4. We have discussed it already. So after making the paper, if he was 2, so before making the paper, he was 3. So day 3, he was 6. So H was 7. And that is the final distribution. Although you have to understand this triple 2. No, not this triple 2. Sorry. The ones which I am rounding B, D, G, and H. I distributed B, D, G, 2, 2, 2, and H, 7. It can have any order. It can also have B, 7, D, 2, G, 2, H, 2, or D, 7, B, 2, G, 2, H, 2, or G, 7 also. Just for understanding, I have written in this way. Remember that. But A is definite. So let me make the one who are box, they are definite. C is definite, E is definite, F is definite. So remember, the one who are boxed, they are definite. The ones who are circled, they can be swapped. Let us look at the problems now. First problem, how many participants in the conference did not change their RDOS number during? F changed. Yes. C changed. A changed. So how many did not change? B, D, G, H and F himself. So five of them. Option D. Clear? Next one. The person having largest Ardos number at the end of the conference must have Ardos number, person having the largest Ardos number at the end of the conference. End of the conference, uh, what happened? A2, B2, C2, D2, E also becoming 2, F remains 1, G remains 1, H remains 7. Although this H can be anywhere. So anyway, whoever it is, the highest Ardos number at the end of the conference will be 7. Option B. Next one. The diagram I've drawn, the numbers I've written, that is for day three, remember. 
how many participant has same orders number at the beginning of the conference acha a and c become to a and c become to after doing it with f so before that who were equal b d g h out of this four three of them were equal so option b option b next one the ardos number of c at the end of the conference is definitely 2 c will not change anymore c has changed on day 3 and it will remains as 2 last problem ardos number of e at the beginning of the conference ardos number of e at the beginning of the conference came as 6 option c day 3 is ardos number for e same as the beginning because before that he never done any paper with a for anybody who is smaller than okay